the UN nuclear watchdog chief, Rafael Mariano Grossi, says Singapore has the potential to possess nuclear energy if it decides to do so. He adds that it could be the most perfect example of a country that needs such energy. Eugene Chow has more. A few years could be all it takes for Singapore to have its own nuclear plant. The International Atomic Energy Agency says the country is growing and it needs more energy. And with the limited renewable energy sources it has, nuclear energy stands out as an option. They have the, uh, the technological capacity, they have the financial ability uh, to do it, they have the regulatory institutions in place, perhaps, uh, you know, in terms of uh, the ASEAN context, one of the best. Mr Grossi was speaking to the media after delivering a public lecture on the safe use of nuclear science. He's in the country under the SR Naden Fellowship a high-level programme for foreign leaders to visit and exchange ideas with Singapore leaders. My conversations with the Prime Minister, with the President, with the Minister of Energy and, uh, and others uh, indicate a clear interest in, uh, on the issue, but uh, uh, a decision needs to be taken. Once a decision is taken, in my impression is that given the characteristics of Singapore, it shouldn't take too long. He adds he's optimistic of a nuclear-powered Singapore given its institutional maturity. The country launched a nuclear research and safety institute earlier this month with the aim of training 100 nuclear experts in five years. Mr Grossi says if Singapore flips the switch on nuclear, IAEA will be advising the country on all required safety measures. Well, Singapore will create training programs to help developing countries build up their nuclear expertise. And these could come in the form of fellowships and scientific visits. And it will cover areas like radioactivity studies and human health. Minister of Sustainability and the Environment, Grace Fu, inked the renewed deal with the IAEA today. Under the old deal, Singapore trained over 140 participants from 27 countries. Director General of the IAEA says talks with Singapore leaders over this visit is a reflection of his wish to work with ASEAN partners. Since the cooperation is growing, is expanding and extending into different areas. The IEEA has become more active in areas having to do with um, health, with human, human health, uh, with uh, food and nutri nutrition, uh, with the protection uh, of the environment, among um, others. 